Naruto with Black Clover Mobile Global. We're all waiting. We're all patiently waiting. Of course, to start off the new year, they gave us guild boss fights. They gave us the, uh, what was it, the Spire of Honor, which ain't too bad. I mean, it's giving you a little bit of resources here and there. And plus, anyone can do it since it automatically put your characters to LR plus 2 level 80. So, you know, that's pretty nice to have. But more importantly, we've got the uh, bingo event, which is giving out a good amount of um, summoning tickets and crystals, which obviously people are going to absolutely love. And, you know, that they can use that towards upcoming uh, broken characters, whoever that may be. Now, the reason why we're here is because the way that Black Clover Global is looking is that things could very well be dead in the sense of it potentially having a dead month. So the big old question is, what is next for Global? Can Garena maybe switch things up a little bit to what they have done beforehand by releasing Julius early, by pushing Charming Season 3 down to Season 2? In my opinion, they might have to do that. When it comes to Global, um, one thing to mention is the whole Global's catching up. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say this right now, with how things are looking, I don't think that's the case. I do believe right now Global's going to be kind of slowing down a little bit, only because if we look at the first month, they went absolutely insane. So like within the first month of Black Clover Mobile, we're looking at one character, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They released eleven characters in the span of 30 days. <laughs> eleven freaking characters within a month. Obviously, if you look at JP, I've got the I've got the timeline banner up right now. Within its first month, we just had three new characters. And then, of course, going into the new month, that's when the Eye of the Midnight Sun started to slowly get released. Yeah. You could... Holy... Actually, to be honest, looking at this comparison, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. So, if we talk about Season 3, because, of course, that's going to be the next... Um, piece of content like new characters etc of course I do think that there's gonna be a bit of a wait because I do recall me saying that oh I think on the 11th of January is when we'll get season 3 and the newest season being season 8 for JP and KR drop at the same time yeah no so with how things are looking right now if you look at the gateway of reunion I'm sure a majority of you guys have completed it um, but with this account of course as you guys can see I've still got, I've still got my key to use if I choose to use it and uh, it's going to be here for another 12 more days, uh, which falls perfectly in line for Kyoto and Kohono. By the way, because of that Great River Reunion still being up, ain't no Season 3 happening until that is finished. So when that finishes, Kyoto and Kohono are then also going to disappear. So realistically, on the 18th is when could Season 3 begin? Could they make it so that they can skip another whole week and make it so that Season 3 actually releases late to early so late january to early february could that be a thing maybe they might i mean clearly they're they're they're, they're looking to slow down with what they managed to push out within the first month which is now looking back at it it's kind of insane but at the end of the day they wanted to make the first month extremely profitable so that's kind of why they did what they did but it changes up the whole path oh. but it changes up global completely so let's hop over here right now and let's go over to characters. They have to change season three because as it stands, with them pushing down Charmy and of course making Asta free, they've made it so that season three is now a two character season, which is what um, they're doing now for Black Clover on JP and KR. It's crazy to think that they've already, already implemented it um, for season three, whereas season four has three characters, but I assume with season four, they'll make one of the Season 4 characters free, like, like what they did with Asta in an event or maybe something, you know, Global might get some some sort of exclusive event or whatnot, who knows, maybe there might be some logins going on where you can obtain one of the free Season 4 characters, whichever one they choose to give away, but that's not what we're talking about. Season 3, as it stands right now, we got Vanessa, and we have, where is he, do, 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 you know. You know it's supposed to be season two, but for Global, as you know of, they completely changed it up. So the remaining swimsuit characters are Vanessa and you know. And so it's two characters, which falls in line with seasonals having a two character drop. And if this are the two characters that they're gonna decide to drop, then 
see, season three is going to be probably the worst season that we will ever see for global because realistically you just get you know you don't even need to max them out you get you know for free season three will be horrible for profit because no one's going to be summoned on it because there is an absolutely zero to no reason why anyone would need to actually go for this vanessa she is just a dead character outside of collection value for for the sake of your account there's absolutely no reason and so majority will just get their you know for free because even with the you know you realistically won't be using them as much if any um, unless you want to do a little bit of nuking outside of that I mean he's not really gonna have too much of a value and yeah I mean it's, it's unfortunate but I mean that that's just how things are um, PvE will have more value but outside of that I mean even even in, 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 the, in the PvE side of things um, it won't be as too crazy of a character that you need to concern yourself with or max out just having that initial copy is more than enough for him to get the job done and what he provides in the sense of reducing the enemy's mobility, attack, and capacitate to allow you to do more damage. Like I said, for the new king setup, he's a, he's a perfect character to have. Now, to also mention, after season three is when we got Julius. So as you guys know, the way it works is that we get a season, and then after the season, we'll have pickup custom banners, of course, um, and then it will go back into a season, and then we'll go into a pickup. So we had season two, then we had Kyoto and Kohono, other pickup banner characters that are available now. Then we're going to go into season three. But after season three, JP and KR, we got our boy Julius. But the thing is, Julius is already within the game because they, they 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 stacked up the first month. So either Guldre and um, Veto are coming in, or Third Eye Awakening Veto are going to be releasing after season three, or maybe some exclusiveness is going to be kicking in who knows so by the looks of it once again it seems that season three will be happening near the end of january um and then of course that will clear out the gateway reunion and that will clear out the pickup banner which will obviously make it so that the season three is the main focus but with the way things are going and obviously if they do make season three like the main piece of content it's going to be dead so something is going to be happening if they decide to go with Yuno and Vanessa for season three and that's it I will genuinely be shocked because this is going to be the worst way to start off the first ever season for for 2024 it, 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 it would be horrendous so they are a hundred percent in my opinion they're gonna pull something because if they're pulling Julius and Charmy down to the first month which kind of ruins the schedule or the timeline should I say then for the for the for the beginning of the new of, of, of obviously a brand new year i do expect them to cook something up for season three so and plus you know having a couple of weeks where global is going to be extremely quiet which is going to be the case fyi um i mean look it gives us more time to grind up the tickets the gems i mean they're releasing good events and whatnot which gives us a lot of tickets and gems so or crystal should i say not gems but either way it's given us time to farm recuperate of all that has happened within the first month and i think is to be honest for me personally with the amount of characters that, that, that we're trying to work on with Gears, I, I do genuinely believe giving us, you know, a couple of weeks, just a, a bit of a break, it's a good thing, right? And also, again, coming back to farming up tickets, crystals, it's a good thing. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm happy that Season 3 more than likely will be happening near the end of, of, of this month. Um, maybe February, but I, I assume end of this month at, at the very least, since that's when um, the banners and uh, Gateway Reunion are going to be done. So all that's going to be reset. But that is pretty much what is next for Global. So be ready. Be ready. Season 3, something could be happening. 